Dr. Masarova, molecular testing is important for people diagnosed with MPNs and may help provide insight into effective treatment approaches. What are some new areas of research related to molecular markers? Molecular markers are very relevant uh, in, in our designs or, or thinking about myeloprophetic neoplasms, not only treatments, but also the disease qualification or prognostication, where ever since the discovery of the so-called driver mutations, which are the mutations responsible for the overproduction of the blood counts and disease pathogenesis. Among them, we have the most common JAK2 mutation, then also carlaticulin, maple, or in some instances, we don't even understand and call it triple negative. There we have learned over the years that the amount of the expression or, or so-called allele burden does correlate with the disease behavior outcome, and then our ability to reverse that so a chief decrease of the burden is also relevant to the outcome of the patients. So developing therapies or even putting these as an endpoints for clinical trials is important for our decision-making and moving towards eradication of the disease. Then there are additional molecular changes, which include non-drivers, which are additional mutations that we have learned and even implemented in the latest prognostic models some of them are very unfavorable, such as ASXL1, EZH2, IDH mutations, certain splicing factors, and, and those play additional role. A lot of it we still do not understand in how the disease is going to ultimately behave. What is their interplay and how we can interfere that? So learning about the impact of these mutations and the drivers and the other effects that cause the disease evolution will probably become the, the, the landmark or the mainstay of these decades and, and facing myeloprothetic neoplasmas. And I'm hoping we will develop medications or we will be able to focus our efforts and our decision-making based on molecular definition, as is currently very broadly seen across all cancers, we call a precision medicine, where we really define how did this is look like? Not how we box it in based on morphology. What is it driving? Why is it not responding? And what can we do to improve that? So mm -hmm. I, I do really see her a big, potent and powerful tool to, to allow us to make the most individualized and customized decisions for our patients to offer them the best outcomes. Mm -hmm.